Hey Eastview, I'm Austin and this is Deidre and you're watching another episode of The Flash. On today's episode of The Flash, we've got three great stories ranging from topics to construction to what one Eastview's team is doing for ovarian cancer. Make sure to stick around for two announcements and credits at the end. Our first story is a continuation on one of last year's segments. The whiteboard question of the week was, what's your favorite memory? Friends and I rented a creeper van for the day and we put paint all over it and we drew weird things on it and we picked people up and had a great time. So this summer, I had the decision to or not to transfer to Eastview, and obviously I decided to, and that's one of my favorite memories because it's been a really good time so far, but you know how it is, it's always a good time. It's always nice to see what Eastview kids have to say about what makes a memory. One thing that many students aren't looking forward to is seeing the construction on Cedar Avenue. Allie went to see what the construction is for and how it's affecting Eastview students. You can't drive around Apple Valley without noticing the widespread construction. And having all this construction so close to Eastview has irritated some students. Whenever I want to go anywhere, like in Minneapolis or something, it takes me like 10, 15 extra minutes and it's just annoying and I don't like Cedar Avenue anymore. And I really hope it ends soon. The construction creates traffic backups and makes it harder to get around Apple Valley. My work is right off of Cedar and the construction has made it really frustrating to get to work and is actually affecting our business. Despite these frustrations, the construction will benefit the community in the long run. Uh, the benefits to the, the postponement of traffic right now in the future, we're going to have a bus lane, which is going to speed up traffic. It's going to eliminate cars on the road and benefit pedestrians. The project, I believe, is slated to be completed sometime in November. So, ECU, make sure to take an alternate route to school until the construction is finished. Signing off for The Flash, this is Allie. Good luck to all those ECU students navigating through construction, keeping my fingers crossed that it's actually done in November. Our final story focuses on how one Eastview team is fighting ovarian cancer in a unique way. Claire got the story of how Eastview Volleyball is tying at Teal. Many of you may have noticed that Eastview Volleyball is off to a good start, but what you may have not noticed is their matching shoelaces and what they mean. The Tie at Teal campaign is a campaign that MOCA, the Minnesota Ovarian Cancer Association, started this year to raise awareness for ovarian cancer and ECU has a special tie to ovarian cancer as one of our alumni, Siri Hill's mom passed away to ovarian cancer. More than 20,000 women in the United States will be diagnosed with ovarian cancer this year. More than 15,000 will die from the disease. It's important for people to know the signs and symptoms because it's a really deadly disease. September is Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month and more than 3,000 athletes and more than 75 teams in Minnesota will be tying at Teal this month. It's really cool to have a lot of the teams we play supporting ovarian cancer awareness. The theme for tonight's game is a Teal Out to support the awareness. Donations are also welcome. Come support So come support the girls tonight at home. Signing off for The Flash, this is Claire. Thanks, Claire. It's great when our sports teams are not only doing well on the court, but in the world as well. Make sure to tie it to you, Eastview. Here at The Flash, one of our favorite parts of the week is creating the credits. But now it's your turn. The Flash has a unique opportunity for you to share your ideas and win a prize. Hey, Eastview. Interested in seeing all-time low? Send us your best credit ideas to creditideas at gmail.com. We'll pick one lucky student to win a pair of tickets for the show on October 22nd. Good luck! Today there will be a char 
chant practice after the boys' soccer game for anyone who'd like to learn or practice their chants. Speaking of which, I finally found out why there's so many trash cans in the field. Stay tuned for the credits, Eastview. <laughs> The projection room above the auditorium 